Alrighty, so, um, here we are. Rolex 24, the Daytona, it just ended, and so, I decided to do reactions to it, well, um, just my reaction to the highlights of it, since, of course, I wasn't gonna go live for 24 hours just to watch a race. If somebody had, if somebody actually watched this for 24 hours, that man has some guts and skill. To actually stay up for a, whole, for a whole freaking day just to watch a race. I would never be capable of doing that. But, um, but yeah, um, here we are. The extended highlights of the Rolex 24 Daytona. Um, 23 minutes, so I heard there's a lot of action going on. I already know about the winner, so that's one thing. Uh, but I still wanted to come on here and just um, watch it as well. And uh, see what else happened while I was asleep. So, but yeah. So we're gonna the right play this now. Yes, the this is the 2024 Rolex 24 at Daytona. We see the green, and Dorani is flying already. And his ex teammate. Okay, so I will be honest here. I did see some of this in the day, but not in the nighttime. So, just gonna let you know. On the start, as he looks to make a move, now we've got the GTD start coming. Michael Christensen in that bright green Porsche on the right hand side is fighting at the front of the field in the GTP class. Meanwhile, right behind Ben Bonico in the Lexus and Spoke, the Vassa Solomon's machine pouncing on that Porsche. Bonico with a big move to the outside. You see screen left there. I actually didn't right see the start, so this is gonna be the first time seeing it. In Rexy, that bright green Porsche. And right behind them, that's Aaron Tielitz in the GTD class. Paul Doesn't look like there was that much action in the start. It would be nice to go to this event. Right. But how does it work? If, if you're like in the stands or something. Oh! When I was trying to ask the question, this happens. Uh, oh, there he is. Uh, oh. Man, I was kind of like, what? A crash that I saw in the 2020 edition of this, I think it was Eloy Castroneves. Oh, great camera work there, and NBC. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of speed, dude. That's a lot of speed. Yeah, I wouldn't say the same for the car. Alright, so the question that I was trying to ask earlier is that if you're at this event in the stands, oh my god, dude, I can't even say the question without even seeing one or two cars in the wall. But I'm just gonna say it. If you're in the stands, I mean, if some, okay, this is for some of you guys who actually have. I can't get any nice things. Okay, so like I was saying. What the frick, man? Can I speak? Two cars, two separate incidents. I can't even talk without an accident happen. Okay, so like I was trying to say before, before no accidents occur, if some of you guys were actually in this event, um, if some of you guys were actually in this event, what do you actually do? Do you stay there for the whole 24 hours, or can you just leave and come back? That's my question. Okay, oh, that was actually a lot less than I thought. I thought they all hit the wall, but they just spun out and barely hit it. Oh, this. I've actually, I've actually seen in highlights uh, during the race that was going on. I'm going to get comfortable here. Oof. I didn't see that live, but I did see the replay. And this is where I think I was watching it live, I think. 
Yeah, this is what this is what I saw live. Yeah, ooh, man, that was close. GTP car splitting the P2 car there side by side into turn one again. These are the risks you got to ask yourself as a driver. Do I need to be making this move this early in the race? A lot of damage on this race. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, this I actually saw live. This was a big hit here. I was just coming back to my room, too, and then I saw the damaged car. Oh, man, man. That was still a... It was still a heavy hit. I think he lost grip or something. That's not like in 21 when we had that spin and hit the wall hard. That was not like what happened. I think some dust kind of. I'm not sure. But it was kind of like an incident that we had in 2021 in the clash, which I still wish we could have won that if we didn't lose it. The engine actually sounds like it has more NASCAR stock car. And that part scared me. When that when Dixon moved to the other side and I saw another car slowing down, I was so afraid. Yeah, like that. I was kind of afraid that the Cadillac Racing 31 was actually going to slam into him. Kind of like what happened uh, a decade ago. Which, that was still a terrible wreck. That's fantastic. Scott showed me the watch yesterday. And yes, meteorite on the face. He wasn't kidding. Was okay. I just didn't hear that. Did bring it out, seems like, Dave. That'll be number five for full force caution. I think. On this race. Oh, yeah. Continues into the evening. Now, the 33 earlier. Uh, Let's go back to racing. And up front. You like see, do these guys actually do these guys in the stands stay here stay there for a whole 24 hours? I mean, it looked like it was well, there was not a lot of people there, so I'm assuming a lot of people left and came back for the finish. That's what I think happened. It's like if you get as long as you have your ticket, you'll be able to get that you you'll be able to get assets back in. Ooh, this this was incredible. So I'm trying to keep the, trying to keep the camera straight. I think I stopped watching that for the night. I think when it hits 17, 16, or 15 hours left, I think it was pretty late, but. I actually don't think I've seen this part, actually. I might have went to sleep at this part. I don't know. Or I probably was just focusing on something else, and I was just... I, I just put the I just put the race on as just background audio while I was trying to work on something. I'm also trying not to talk as much since there's not. I'm sorry if I'm also not talking as much since there's not a lot of action here, and besides, it's the morning by the time I'm recording this, so I don't want to be too much of a distraction because I don't know if I'm. I don't know if anybody's awake or not. Oh, yeah, this, oh, this part I've seen. Okay, so I wasn't asleep. Yeah, that was a lot of three wide action there in turn number two. NASCAR two, I should say. 
see how they get stacked up. I believe that might yeah, be that three white actually four. actually kind of scared me because I wasn't sure if they were going to make a mistake. Oh, you see? It's kind of like push the pass. Yeah, kind of like push the pass. Yeah. Look at this battle right here. Mustang side by side, 64 and 65. The game of chicken into Omashi Kane. Inside lane win wisely. That's Single file is the way to go. Position. That's how you get, get into that corner when you're on the outside. Uh-oh. Oh, that's no. a 10? That is the 10 of Land Taylor Racing Car Dark. No lights. Oh, what? Car. Okay, this part I actually haven't seen. That is Way Taylor Racing. A bad place to be what the heck? Okay, I was definitely asleep when this happened. We talked about the complicated technology in the GT. Oh my gosh, no way. Oh no. Whoa, the door is open. It's coming through that turn one. Sweet, did it? It just stopped working? Oh, that was a different car. Okay, Wayne Taylor, that Wayne Taylor racing vehicle had to have some sort of problem. I'm not entirely sure what happened. Yeah, that's a shame. That was the guy I was. That was the vehicle I was looking. I was keeping my eyes on. There was two cars that spun there. It looks like a tire is down. Is that the old one? That looks like the old one. Whoa! Oh, jeez. Yeah, I was definitely asleep at this part because I did not see this whole thing. Oh. So those Jensen Button. Came into that corner a little too deep there, buddy. Yikes. Okay. Nice cut there. Oh, okay. Thanks for cutting out that part. The car just... Oh, it's a bad wagon now. It's back, up, it's back rolling. It just, like, stalled there for a second. I'm not, I'm not sure what happened there. Just stalled. Wow. I actually think I, I think I actually saw this part, I think. I'm not sure, actually. I might have still been awake. I might have just been watching a few more minutes of it before turning it off. I believe this part's kind of familiar, so I believe I did actually see this. I don't think I was asleep yet. Oh yeah, I did see this part. He just rolled away. That actually kind of made me... Uh, got a little chuckle out of me because I was not expecting that. Okay, this part I probably haven't have not seen. 
because it's 10 hours. So yeah, I was definitely asleep at this time. Oh, that was a spinner there. Yeah, no kidding, I just said that. Oh! No wonder I didn't see him in contention this morning. Oh my gosh. I bet he was done after that, I think. I think his day was cut short. That's a shame. I was really watching. I was really keeping my eye on that on that car. I think. Yikes. Oh, there's a fire there on the on the back. What the heck happened there? Oh, one of the lights are out there. One of the real the real light is not even on. There had to be something going on in the rear or something. I'm not entirely sure. Fuel level? I don't know. It's getting close to uh, it's morning time there. It's morning time now in Daytona. Six hours left. We're almost done with this. Okay, yeah, six, 16 minutes. Only 16 minutes in. was a spinner there. I thought I saw it. It looked like smoke or something. I'm not sure. In the grass. I don't know what he was doing there. Whoa, crossover there. I didn't know there were three wide. There was about to get three wide again here in a minute. Oh, if he, if he stayed there. Well, he, he wouldn't have any room anyway. This is amazing. Yeah, he's got the run there. Oh, but not enough, though. The other car's coming. Whoa! Wow, wow, look at that. What a move! Oh my goodness, man. It looked like they were really tight there. It looked like that number seven Cadillac was not clear. That number seven is a Cadillac, right? I'm sure it's a Cadillac. It's the GTP class, so I'm pretty sure it was a Cadillac. About to be three wide again. 
Dude, that uh, that black car had a run. I was I thought it was going to be three wide again. I think I turned on the race with. I think right here, this part here. Oh yeah, this part here. I did see. It was, yeah. I don't know how he got away with that one. All he got was just a slap on the wrist on that. It didn't seem intentional, though. Alright, this part I definitely remember here. Yeah, this, 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 this battle... Yeah, this battle right here was absolutely insane. I was... Oh, it was, a, it was a Porsche. Never mind. Look at this here. Dude, I don't need to see Joe Rogan. I want to see the finish of this. Ooh. And I thought after that move for the possible win, I thought the race was over. I thought that was going to be the end of the race. I thought it was going to be over by that point. And, but yeah, because when the Porsche, when the Porsche lots there, I just thought that the race was over. Blumquist had it in hand for the third consecutive year in a row until this happened. Oh, until that happened, that's when this whole race changed. Yeah, this was. This was so weird. Yeah, I was definitely happy when that happened. The only reason why I was happy because my favorite IndyCar driver, Joseph Newgarden, was possibly going to be an Indy 500 champ and a Rolex 24 champ. So, yeah, I, so for the rest of this part, I have seen this whole 32 minutes. Yeah, it's, yeah, this was, yeah, th this battle was insane. Almost done here. Yeah, that I saw. <laughs> he was like Rick Allen there. I thought that was it there. I thought that was going to help Blum Blumquist out as soon as uh, NASA jiggled. Two to go, so it's almost over. This point, my heart was just pounding for, for the Penske Porsche and for Joseph Newgarden. But this right here, this part was confusing. Yeah, that, that actually confused me. I was like, what? Check the flag? There's two laps to go. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly how, that's exactly what my look was. Because I wasn't sure if it was actually over. That was insane. I mean, like, how can you make that mistake? You gotta pay attention to the scoring model, buddy. And that right there, I, I guaranteed was when it was over. I knew for sure it was over. And that when I saw the number seven cross the line right there, that's when I knew it was over, for sure. So, I must say, it was definitely the best Rolex 24 I've seen. It's definitely my favorite so far. Because the finish was absolutely insane. 
I mean, those two battling out for the GTP class win and the overall win was absolutely insane. The Porsche and the Cadillac absolutely, absolutely, absolutely were going for it all. And, uh, yeah. So, I know it wasn't exactly a good reaction, but, hey, I've seen almost, almost the entire thing, but, uh, not exactly close. Uh, there was still a good majority that I have seen. From this live and uh that plus i did see the finish live so yeah so that's pretty much gonna be it can't wait for the actual start of nascar coming back next sunday i'm super excited for that